This Country is a TV show on BBC iPlayer, uh, specific channel is BBC Three. Um, it's in its second series now, we're about three episodes deep as I film this. Um, wanted to talk about it because it's a really funny show and it has maintained its um, level of comedy into its second series. Um, it's filmed in a documentary style or mockumentary style and it's based around a pair of young cousins growing up in rural England in the Cotswolds. Um, so this is similar to the area that I live in. Um, its analogue would be People Just Do Nothing which is a similar mockumentary series also on BBC Three that covers people growing up in a urban environment. Um, this follows the two main characters, um, Curtin and Kerry, as they go about their daily business and try and fill the sort of mundane vacuum that is life in a rural village where you've just got old people and otherwise the people you've just gone to school with because not a lot new comes into the area and not a lot happens. Um, if you've ever lived in that kind of village or town, then you'll recognise loads of things in there. Um, there's a village fate in the first series that has a scarecrow show and <laughs> it is just, the, the town I live in there is a flower pot man show um, there's another town down the area that has an onion competition um, this is all the kind of stuff you still have in rural England and it's very well observed and very well done and you've got the vicar as the person who takes time to try and look after their needs and administer some sort of pastoral care to them um, <laughs> and his frustrations are growing um, and then you've just got the sort of oddballs that live around the local area and I say oddballs with affection because the town I live in is filled with people like that but that's what adds character to different parts of England and different areas that you live in. If everyone was like on an American sitcom where they're all glossy and you know just got the perfect tan and they're all just quite right you know and all no one's fat no one's ugly no one's got a big nose no one looks strange no one acts strange then you don't have much of a life it's very boring it's very bland um i know i can walk down to the down to the butchers and everyone knows who the butcher is everyone knows his quirks um same way that uh, there's always a person who sits outside the town hall uh, that will be there saying something don't know why they're saying it don't know what they're going to say on any given day but they'll say it loud and they'll say it to the whole street and this is reflected in this show those kind of characters and those kinds of people um i think it's really good that this series is being made and that it got commissioned for a second series it's worth checking out if you want some down-to-earth british comedy um and it's got a level of pathos in it as well because they're not the cleverest pair. Um, Kerry is the least clever, um, but Curtin um, has a little bit about him and at the end of the first series he has an opportunity to go off to Swindon College and better himself in some way and he turns that down because of loyalty to his family and that's reflected in the second series where you can see there's a slight level of regret in his decision um, and there's also a little sub element with Kerry's father and family and how she's ignored and it just let's say it adds that little element of sadness to it that is key in a lot of successful British comedy even things like Only Fools and Horses um, the reason it's successful and the comedy works is because it's always balanced against a level of desperation or sadness and this has that um, and I think that's what makes it shine and that's what makes it funny um, and I can enjoy this with my parents and that in itself speaks for the quality of it uh, and it hasn't dipped into farce or sort of buffoonery to try and um, bolster the comedy it's maintained constant throughout so this country definitely worth watching you can see all the series on iPlayer if you're in the UK I'm not sure how you access it from any other country um, and if you don't have access to iPlayer or you've got a poor internet signal normally the BBC after they run on iPlayer distribute this um, at some sort of late night time on terrestrial telly so definitely worth checking out